Hey, Jarek here, and this is a fully automatic flywheeler hog. It was sent to me from Zendao, so huge thanks to them. I'll put a link down below in the video information if you want to buy one of these. So at its core, this is a really, really simple full auto flywheeler, but it looks like an AUG, so it's pretty cool. Out of the box, you'll get it in two parts, the lower receiver and the upper receiver. You simply slap it in, it clicks in place, and that's all you really got to do. It does come with this massive orange barrel, so I mean, that's kind of a good thing. It makes it pretty easy to tell that it is a toy. Sort of. Still don't point this thing around. Obviously, it still kind of resembles a gun. Bad idea to point things that resemble guns out in public. So, yeah. But if you are someone that doesn't like the orange tip, you basically are stuck with this thing, which is not a bad thing. The reason for that is that even though this is friction fitted, you can take them off in segments. You can make this really long if you wanted to. It's because the barrel in here is effectively locked in place by these. So you need that on there or the barrel will just fall out. It looks a little bit weird without this flash hider on here anyway. All right, so what's all the extra goodies these knockoff blasters come with? Well, it comes with a scope and a foregrip and that's pretty much it. The scope though does surprisingly have some magnification to it. This is gonna be virtually impossible to see on camera. It's not much, it's like 1.5. This claims on here, 1.5 to 6 times, it's not giving you 6 times. This is a 1.5 scope at best. But it is amusing that it does have some sort of magnification to it at all. Most of these don't. It also has a little tiny thing on top of it, so if you don't want to use a scope, you can use that. Or realistically, you can just slap whatever red dot you want onto this thing. That would be a much better option. The foregrip also isn't exactly great. This is as tight as it gets, and uh, yeah. <laughs> so you, you might want a different foregrip on this as well. I only have this on here because this is what came in the box, so I might as well have it here for the review. The actual build quality of this thing is not the worst quality plastic, but it's no polymer. It's definitely not going to be that solid. I wouldn't exactly call it frail, but you drop this thing in the wrong way, you smack it against a tree, I can definitely see you breaking it. So be, I don't want to say cautious with this thing, but just be aware that it's not an incredibly expensive, really durable blaster. The battery compartment is in the back right here. It will have a screw screwed in there, but it locks in place good enough without the screw, so you really don't need it. In fact, trying to do this with my hand, that's just gonna hurt my nail. Let me get a screwdriver. You can, I just don't want to rip my nail out trying to open that up. But yeah, it takes a small lipo, not the biggest lipo, and this thing also doesn't shoot the hardest. Oh, and if you can't tell by the size of the magazine, this only fires full length darts. Does this mean that it works with other magazines? Well, kind of, actually. No, but yes. This is the magazine it came with. It has that AUG look. You'd be able to snap multiple together, which is pretty cool. Let me go ahead and chuck this aside for now. Here is a, another off-brand magazine from another blaster that is just looks like a scar. So pretty much the same kind of thing as this. And surprisingly, it does work. I've, I've shot this, it works perfectly fine in the blaster. Here's a magazine from the Vulcanator. And that works as well. Here's a Dart Zone magazine. Locks in place and works perfectly fine. How about another? Also works. It pretty much seems like everything works in this except for official Nerf brand magazines, which is really weird. Here's the Halo Assault Rifle magazine. The bottom looking different doesn't matter. It's just the top you gotta worry about, and it is too wide to fit in the magwell, so Nerf mags don't work. Also, I have this drum magazine. I was really hoping this would work because that would just be really silly to have an AUG of the drum mag. Maybe, maybe not silly, but it would be fun. Let's say that. And it also doesn't work. It's just a little bit too thick. You could probably force that in there and make it work, but I would not recommend doing that. You're going to break some. That's what she said. I know someone's going to say it in the comments. For now, let's just use the default magazine. When I first got this, the mag release was really stiff. It's right where you would expect it to be for an AUG. Just push the magazine, rip the mag out. However, over time it has loosened up and reloading is perfectly easy with one hand. Annoyingly, this doesn't have a flywheel button or a flywheel trigger. Pull the trigger, nothing happens, there's no other button. That's what this switch is for. It's an on or off one. Probably my least favorite way of doing this, but the rate of fire is pretty good and performance is okay, so I can't really complain that much. Especially since this is just going to be a neat plinker. You're not really going to be taking this to games. It doesn't perform good enough. And also, you know, you probably shouldn't take something that looks like an AUG to a game, considering most games are in a public park anyway. 
This orange tip alone is not going to save you. I can't reiterate that enough. If you take something outside that looks like a real gun, you're gonna get yourself into trouble. But yeah, when I chronoed this with good old fashioned Adventure Force waffle head darts, uh, the FPS was kind of inconsistent. I was getting 50 to 70 FPS, which isn't really great. I quickly found out that it just doesn't really like waffle head darts that much. It doesn't feed well in full auto using them. What I found did work really well are these Worker 5.0 darts. They don't have a, a firm, hard plastic tip, but they're not waffle heads. And I find that it has an easier time gripping this. And also the dart itself is a bit skinnier. Effectively, these are knockoff elite darts, but actual quality. These fly a lot straighter than elite darts do. Not as good as waffle heads, but significantly better than elite darts. So they're actually nice to have around for when you get blasters like this that are gonna be picky with waffle heads. As much as we all love Adventure Force waffle head darts, sometimes these don't like them as much. And with these darts, they were a lot more consistent. I was seeing like mid 70s, upper 80s. So definitely use something like this or even just elite darts will work better than waffle heads, but they'll be really inaccurate. So you kind of stuck with something like this instead. But yeah, 75 FPS, 80 FPS with darts that work with this, a pretty darn good rate of fire. I didn't expect it to shoot that fast. I mean, it's not record breaking, but I thought it would just shoot really slow. Overall, I really can't complain. It's an AUG. I like AUGs. I wanted to have an AUG of some sort in my house, and here I do. Neat toy. Again, if you want to get one of these for yourself, check the link down below in the video information and in a pinned comment. That is from Zendao, who sent this to me. So huge thanks to them again. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.